At 3.30, we had number 19, Oklahoma, went 2-0. Traveling to Tulsa is 1-1 one one right now. Oklahoma favored 28.5 points on ESPN2. Dylan Gabriel for the Sooners has gone 38-49, thrown for 484 yards, six touchdowns to zero interceptions. Toei Walker has had 29 carries for 161 yards and two touchdowns. Andrell Anthony sent 10 catches for 142 yards and a touchdown. Cardell Williams for the Tulsa Golden Hurricane has gone 19-28, thrown for 298 yards, three touchdowns to one interception. Jordan Ford on the ground has had 34 carries for 177 yards and a touchdown. And Marquis Shoulders had eight catches for 155 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Oklahoma leads the series all time, 20 to seven. Last nine games have gone to Oklahoma. Um, I think what's really interesting here, and I think we need to talk about for a little bit, is Oklahoma was a just it was crazy, right? Week one, they destroyed Arkansas State. But what I think a lot of people forget when they looked at that matchup and they were like, "Oh my God, that's an insane score! How did Oklahoma beat them by that much?" Is Arkansas State is arguably the worst team in all of FBS, right? It's not an insane victory because they're so awful. Last week, Oklahoma got a wake-up check, right? SMU didn't go away for most of that game. They were down by 11 points for the majority of that game. Oklahoma's offense couldn't just run over the SMU defense. The SMU defense put up a good amount of fight. The Mustangs, they gave the Sooners a hell of a game. Tulsa's not better than the Mustangs, right? Like, Tulsa's not as good as SMU. SMU's a good football team. It is. Um... And so, like, it's not embarrassing to... The SMU kept it close. That is a competent-led football team. It is a tough football team. It's well... Co I mean, like, it's it's a competent, good football team. It wasn't going to make a whole lot of mistakes. And the likelihood of you blowing them out wasn't super high if you're Oklahoma, right? I don't think I put that much strength on it. But it is going to... got to bring your expectations down if you're Oklahoma. You're not going to do what you did to Arkansas State to anyone else the rest of the year because no one else is Arkansas State. You might blow out a couple of people and win by 20 to 30 points. You're not going to do what you did to Arkansas State to anyone else because Arkansas State is another level of just awful. Tulsa's not that awful. SMU is definitely not that awful. Oklahoma's going to win this game. Oklahoma's going to win this game handily against Tulsa. But it was a wake-up call. You're not going to put 60-plus on anyone for the rest of the year. If you're Oklahoma, you've got to learn how to win games with your defense, uh, which is what you hope. Venables brought here. Um, I, we're going to see soon because there's some explosive offenses in the Big 12, especially when you end up playing Texas in the Red River rivalry. Um, Oklahoma's going to win this one. They're going to win it handily. Give me the Sooners to win and cover on the road.